With their big ears, jowls, and droopy eyes, bloodhounds look like big old couch potatoes. But don't let their looks fool you. These dogs are experts at finding people who are missing and criminals on the lam. They know what work is. They know what they're bred to do. And they know what play is. And to them, it's play. Duke Snodgrass started 832 Canines Deputy Dogs 10 years ago after his son Cody, a sheriff's deputy who worked with a bloodhound named Jimmy, was killed in a motorcycle accident. It was his life dream to bring more bloodhounds into the sheriff's departments to bring more kids home. Catching the bad guy's dad, he said that's just a, that's just a plus. Here, bloodhounds are born and bred to serve. They will go to police forces, search and rescue organizations, and the FBI. These dogs are ready to work. Some of them have already saved lives. Three months ago, Joker's Wild found a suicidal woman who had taken pills and ran into the woods. This dog has found 27 people, the most recent being a criminal on the run. Elvira here helped track an illegal smuggling operation in Utah. This is a lover. Hi, John Boy. Oh my God, John Hi, Boy John is a Boy. lover. Yeah. Bloodhounds get a bad rap for being major droolers, but they're not all that way. There is wet mouth and dry mouth. A lot of our dogs are dry mouth. So they don't all drool? No, they don't all drool, but the ones that drool does it excessively like she's doing. We call them shoestrings. <laughs> it's hair mousse deluxe. <laughs> Thankfully, a large company donates dog food, but this operation would not function without the dedication of volunteers. They help care for, raise, and train the bloodhounds. So you've had some fun with some of the ladies around here, huh, Barry? Chetta Kometa mm -hmm. owns Barry. He's been used to father puppies and educate people about deputy dogs. When you know that you had a little tip in that iceberg of bringing one child home or finding one Alzheimer's patient, you know that it doesn't matter what money you spent or what hours you spent, you did a good thing. Duke, it says do not enter here. I know, do not enter. But we're entering. Okay, what's back here? Okay, Cindy, I've got a little surprise for you. Oh, yeah? I would like for you to look right in here. Okay. Well, actually, I have 14 little surprises for you. Oh, my goodness. Hello there. Hi, babies. 14 puppies, little bloodhounds. Oh. Those are little lifesavers is what those are. Hi, sweetie. Oh. One at a time. Can I keep them? <laughs> When they're old enough, these little pups will go to foster families who will take them everywhere so they're comfortable in any environment. Agatha Christie, we are going to put you to the test. I'm going to hide and we're going to see if you can find me, okay? We just met. Yeah. See, get, get my scent and I'm taking off. not too long before I'm discovered. Oh, Aggie, you did it! I threw a wrench into the plan, too. I didn't Good even hide girl. behind the fence. Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Good Way to go, girl. Aggie! Yay! Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> the legacy of Cody Snodgrass lives on at 832 Canines Deputy Dogs. If Cody could see the operation today, what would he think? Oh, I don't know. We thought we thought we would give one dog away. Uh, we've got about 130 working in police and sheriff's departments. Uh, probably got closer to 175 working in search and rescue and the police force. I think he's there. I think he's guiding these dogs sometime. There you go, John Boy. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy.